Good morning, everyone, and thanks to Matt and Mike for what I'm sure was a very kind introduction. We're here today to offer you an opportunity to join Monitor Exploration Limited, affectionately known as MEL, in exploring block PL 93, covering an area of 18,500 square kilometres in the heart of the Awambo Basin in Namibia. As you've heard from Recon Africa, who are exploring in the same basin just to the east of us, as you can see on the map on the left, the Awambo Basin is now proven to contain a working petroleum system with live oil found in their 6-2 well. The scale of the map can be deceptive because Namibia is such a large country. The blocks are around 100 kilometres wide. It's important to recognise the scale of the opportunity, but also that there is significant infrastructure already in place, including road, rail and electricity transmission networks. So this is not the frontier area it initially appears to be. The source rocks in the basin are shales of the mostly carbonate near Proterozoic Sumev and Abanab formation, shown in light and dark blue in the section on the right, which were deposited during the rapid sea level rise associated with the end of snowball earth periods. In this they are analogous to the Silurian hot shale, which has produced so many billions of barrels of oil across North Africa and the Middle East. Near Proterozoic petroleum systems sound very old, but can be very prolific, with examples including more than 3 billion barrels of oil in similar basins in Amman, more than 3 billion barrels of oil equivalent in eastern Siberia, and 6 billion barrels in China. Reservoirs have been demonstrated in the carbonates, with porosities up to 22% in the Atosha 51A well, which you can see on the left-hand side of the section, and in the overlying Awambo clastic formations, where porosities up to 20% have been recorded. Each reservoir interval has a potential seal in overlying shales. There are two independent trapping styles in the monitor acreage, compressional anticlines in the foreland basin and thrust fault blocks in the south of the block, which we believe are on trend with the strongly folded strata recordedly, reportedly encountered by Recon in their well, which you can see on the right-hand side of the section on the right, showing the oil shows encountered in the clastics, which are of Permian age, and in the carbonates. Monitor selected these blocks and signed a petroleum agree agreement in 2018 with a committed work programme of non-seismic techniques to de-risk the basin. Integration of the existing data sets on the block, including gravity, magnetics, soil gas sampling and limited 2D seismic data, with new remote sensing studies, allowed Monitor to high-grade three areas of interest for further evaluation, utilising their passive seismic technology, which directly detects hydrocarbon accumulations in the subsurface. Areas 1 and 2 are located in the foreland anticline zone, while area 0 is located in the thrust fault plate. These studies have further high graded area 2 as the most prospective, with one prospect supported by all of the available data sets, the gravity, 2D seismic, high ethane gas values in the soil sampling, and a passive seismic anomaly, and is estimated to contain in excess of 350 million barrels of oil. The other areas of interest have less data and thus less confidence in the interpretation, but each is estimated to contain prospects with the potential for around 500 million barrels of oil. All commitments in the current period, which ends in October 2022, have been met, but MEL has elected to proceed with acquisition of around 400 kilometres of 2D seismic at an estimated cost of $3 million to further de-risk the potential of Area 2, to provide greater insight into the prospectivity of Areas 0, 1 and the surrounding areas, and to select locations for drilling in the first extension period, which carries a one-well commitment by October 2024. MEL proposes to drill two to three wells during this period to test the two independent play types and properly explore the areas identified to date. Further passive seismic data may also be acquired to identify further areas of interest across the extensive acreage. Monitor is seeking a partner to fund the seismic survey and drilling of two to three wells by the end of 2023. The blocks have excellent fiscal terms and Namibia has a highly supportive government. Success in any of these areas will support a major development with at least 80,000 barrels of oil per day evacuated via pipeline to Volfus Bay, where we will also bring water in from the ocean for purposes of pressure support. Success in all of the areas identified to date thus far could lead to a multi-billion barrel development producing two to 300,000 barrels a day. A modest discovery can be developed through that existing rail infrastructure you saw on the first map, which also facilitates phased development of any large discovery. You can get further information at monitorexploration.com or pick up a COVID-free postcard at the Envoy stand. Thanks, Mike, for allowing that, and thanks to all of you for your attention.